It all started with the idea of having a small pair of smart glasses that can give you a very immersive experience. Two years, 20 team members and 36 patents later, we're finally there. All we need is for you to take it to the next level. There are a lot of different product ideas and startup ideas that come by here. And a lot of them are incremental in that they just seem to advance the state of the art a little bit or they have some novel idea. But when Suleiman came to me in 2011, it really came out of an idea that seemed far out to have an immersive display environment and to be able to use gesture recognition to be able to provide for a new way of interacting with computers. And over this course of the last two years, I've been very pleased to see at here Labs pull together a diverse team of scientists and engineers to pull together this vision which is now manifested in their first prototype. At Athir, we don't want just to plug the pair of our AR glasses into laptop. Instead, we would like to create the truly mobile system, one which will bring all the power, all the information, all the personalization of the virtual world into the real world. And so we created the Ethereum Dev Kit. It has a state-of-the-art Snapdragon processor. It has the ability to connect to all kinds of devices over HDMI, USB, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, and even memory extension. And it gives you a very natural interaction in a large 36 degrees field of view, high resolution display. We're also introducing the Ethereum One, which takes everything to a whole new level. It has a 65 degrees field of view, high resolution display, and leverages your phone in order to give you an amazing immersive experience, all in 75 grams and for very low cost. Hi, my name is Zilu. I'm the founder and CEO of Blaster Technologies. Our company works in augmented reality since 10, 10 years now, and um, what we see are uh, with Actual technology is incredible because you can see 3D objects in the front of you and you can interact 3D objects like a, a, a computer in the, putting in the air. We build the hardware and software for the wearable device that augments the world around you and enables you to interact with the digital world in the most natural way. You can touch icons in the air, you can manipulate virtual objects, you can use voice commands, can even use head motion. I'm Daniel van Ivanov, I'm the CTO of SoftKinetic. We um, are basically doing 3D technology and everything that goes around that. This is a use case that requires a lot of different disciplines and that is really uh, challenging. But what we see in Athir is uh, a very strong engineering force with all those disciplines combined and a total system approach that we really admire. Our computer vision system enables sub-millimeter hand interaction detection with a minimal overhead on a mobile processor. At that here we have an important feature. We adjust and personalize each display image to each eye. By doing that, not only we provide a comfortable visual experience, but also we avoid eye fatigue. And it's not just, uh, you know, uh, like Google Glass, uh, a small screen. It's a very big screen in front of you and you have a, a computer in a simple pair of glass. There have been uh, a number of different immersive devices that have made their appearance recently in the marketplace. A tier one will set the gold standard by pulling together a number of revolutionary new advances in gesture recognition as well as in see-through optic display technology to come together with new ways for human-machine interaction. 
congratulations to Athir Labs and founder Suleiman for pulling together this vision in such a short period. We came to reach out the developer community. We would like to put our platform into the developers' hands and with their help create new generation of applications which will put people into the center of this connected world.